Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talked about every single item in The Binding of Isaac. I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined as always by a real recap EF Yemat, Gary Butterfield. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, did a little pre-pro I don't know. On, did a little pre-pro on these. Wrote them out. Easier to, oh, much easier nice. to do if you read them out. Nice. Yeah, I have no idea even what that's referencing, and I don't know exactly where we're starting, and I was counting Excellent. on your intro. Oh, no, Gary. To clue well, me in. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as a good co-host, I should, but as a good comedian, question you mark, shan't. I shouldn't. I shan't. Yeah. Shouldn't I shan't. I shouldn't shalt. Shouldn't go round and round on everything to guppy. Mm. Uh, can you repeat the uh, rebus? Sure, of course. Uh, recab. Okay, E-yaf, recab. Yemat. Yemat. So mate. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, nope. Tame. Yemat though, Yemat. Yemat. Oh, Tammy. Tammy. <laughs> okay. So Tammy, Af Afaf. Eaf. Eaf was E-F. the middle name. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, Af. A F E. No, you got to you got to flip them. Tammy Af. No. Uh, no. And then re- Gary, rehab. Gary, they're backwards. Buddy. I'm going you to rehab. You can't. Gary, you Af. Can't. You said E E F. No, I said E F. So, so that starts. That's going to start with an F, buddy. E F. Oh yeah, E F. E F. Okay, Fay. Yeah, and I okay. bet you can from context clues with those first two. I bet you can get what the third one is. Fay Tammy. <laughs> God. <laughs> 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 famous, uh, famous evan- <laughs> televangelist. <laughs> Fay Tammy Backer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Fay Tammy. Oh, I guess Tammy is kind of a name. Uh, it's, I got you. Ta- it's Tammy, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, you didn't pronounce both M's. I, how do you don't, pronounce don't, both M's going backwards? We know how to spell what we say and we choose Yim-mat. it. Don't make me go back to last week and explain that to you again. Yim-mat. Yim Yim Matt. You do it as two. <laughs> this is a this is a bad show. <laughs> the, uh, this week at least, this is the worst one on the network, I think. Text one. If you think that you get to decide how the words you say are spelled. Um, Gary, name a worse show on the network week. right this second. I, I just did, but I don't oh. I want, I did it quiet and I don't want anyone to hear it. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll hear it back on the edit. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean it. It's just, you know, it's again, it's the show I'm not on. Uh-huh. So I, I get to, to make Oh, did you it. punch down at the level? I did. I don't think it's punching down. The level's in our weight class. Gary, Gary a, you know, have you ever been yeah. on the level? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once or twice, uh, didn't get, didn't get invited back. Don't know why. Um, <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, I got no, got no clue, but yeah, no, uh, got, got once and they're like, that's enough Gary for me. You know, so a lot of Gary is a lot for some people and I get it. Uh, you know? and I would argue that a little Gary is a lot for some people. Yeah. You know, any Gary at all is a lot for some people. Mm-hmm. Also, no Gary is a lot for some people. It's, it's an um, almost overwhelming amount of Gary is no Gary. Yes. Medically inadvisable amount of Gary. Um, that's okay. More than the USDA recommends, certainly. That's why I've, I find people who have built up uh, garrigans in their blood and can accept all the the butter filacity. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm provide. immune. Also, Gary, I'm mad at myself because I said the uh, USDA they rate beef. FDA puts out the uh, puts the little human warning labels. ratings. Yeah, <laughs> they rate humans. They rate the, humans. Uh, they, they do. Rate do you humans? remember when the FDA ran hot or not? Yeah, God, hot or not. Um, that's a that'd take you back. The, oh, yeah. uh, do you when remember I was all in the, college, the hot, we used to go ahead. They're all the hot or not knockoffs. Do you remember those? Uh, I mean the Facebook. Yeah. Like, the, well, no, no, no. Like the jokey ones, like, am I topless or not? Oh. Stuff like that. No, that was a big Gary, thing. I, no. Uh, were they? Yeah. Yeah. That was a big thing. At least among my friends, like we, their hot or not would pop up and we, you would know, do that because we were Ugh, shitty kids. So I know. Prosaic. I know. Gross. And then, but then there'd also be, uh, am I topless or not? Uh, and that one was like the joke behind that is funny. You just say yes, no. Okay. Uh, and you know, it, it got rid of the subtext. Like you're just looking at, at hot ladies. I think mm-hmm. there was a, there was one that was just for, uh, pet pictures and that I, yeah. I had a lot of fun with, but when I was in, yeah, when I was in college, I think, uh, my friend Nathan Mutchler had a projector and we okay. would just toss up hot or not up on the screen and we'd kill like half an hour just collectively rating people. Yeah. It's gross. But hey, we all a, did it. It was a party. Yeah. It was a fun party time. It was a gross party. It was a little gross, gross. Yeah. 
a little gross. You know, while we're in the gross zone. Take that, Mutchler. Uh, can can I be gross for a moment? Yes, please. Uh, and this, this is one of those uh, audio bar mitzvah sexual things. Um, I had the thought recently. So did you get that, see that news story about the teacher who got fired for having OnlyFans? Uh, yes, I think vaguely. Okay. Like I, 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 you I, know, had, I didn't go in depth. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't subscribe. Okay. The, uh, well, joke's on you. Uh, pretty hot. But the, the thing is, uh, I, I saw that and I had the thought so intensely that if I were, if that had happened to me when I was in high school, the kind of erotic, like thunderstorm that would have wreaked on my world Mm -hmm. would have been hard to recover from. Like there were, there were so many teachers I wanted to see naked and wanted to see in the kind of positions that this teacher is posing in that if I could have gone to the gas station and bought like a burner credit card, I would have scrimped it. I would have given up a hobby. Like I wouldn't have played magic, the gathering in order to see like Mrs. Ulrich bend over sofas and shit. It It would have absolutely destroyed my high school career. If, if this were, and it just made me very happy to be born in the level of technology that I was. So Gary, every story is a detective story in some ways. Yeah. The, well, especially when you're hearing them. Yeah. You know? The, 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 the one I'm fascinated. So what I'm getting is <laughs> that your high school. Yeah. Had a disproportionately high number of attractive women teaching. There were like, like, Cause I don't want the, I, I, or yeah. is it the other thing where Gary has like a milf thing and like, 45 year old uh, ladies in like unflattering dresses really get get the the meter pink it's really both like gary's mom thing you know like the the mom from home improvement jesus christ like the this was well this was this was yeah dude patricia Uh, heaton yeah uh there there was there's a lot of all of the it's all of the above and that's the the tricky glass onion that you're dealing with here in terms of detective stories is that uh, it's not a who done it? It's a everybody plays this club cranium because uh, there were uh, some real hotties. Uh, you know, there's some naughties as well, but there were there were hot teachers. Also, I was in an age where everything and everyone was hot, and uh-huh. a lot of them I would still consider hot because they happened to be, uh, you know, some kind of frumpy mom types that I can get, kind of get down with. So it was, uh, I want to start with I don't think Patricia Heaton. I'm, I'm confusing Patricia Heaton with. Uh, who is the mom from Home Improvement? Ah, uh, we established that. Yeah. Um, the, well, but I want to pull up some pictures yeah. and like, because Patricia Richardson is is the okay. mom from Home Improvement. Yeah. Uh, like nice looking lady. She's yeah. She's not a like in like press photos and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she's definitely like an attractive actress who dressed Still like a it. suburban mom for for fifty. Oh yeah, no, I'm seeing some yeah. some more recent photos, and she looks uh yeah a handsome like, old uh, lady. She looks very good for her age. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's still. I just think she could have done was, better I, I than Tim, whole... and well, could have you know like she could use somebody more sensitive than Tim, like thirteen provider. year old Gary Butterfield. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. I had this whole thing teed up where we were going to like investigate whether you, uh, your principal had some dream of creating a, his, his amazing eighties script, horny high school. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and just populated it entirely with like, uh, wannabe porn stars and stuff. Oh no, 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 no. That's, but no. it sounds like the problem was closer to home and closer to butter. The call is coming from within the house, uh, in the center. I had a mental uh, realization today. Okay. Because uh, you recently sent me a picture of you in high school that was uh, extremely embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, and I realized that when I think of you in high school, as I sometimes do, I do think of you as Butter. Okay. Like my gym teacher. That's did. your. That, yeah. That's yeah. high school Gary's name. It's Butter. butter. Yeah. You, it's very Mr. Shram of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I do aspire to be Shram like yeah, all things. You'd be like Chuck Shram. Yeah. 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 Or Mr. Rochelle. Uh, any of my old so gym you teachers. Just, so you were a problem. It's is what it sounds I like. Had it doesn't a problem. sound like I, yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. I didn't act on it. Let's let's not get it twisted. I was not a problem. <laughs> the, <laughs> uh, I I had a problem. Uh, Gary, I would argue that you were a problem. No one knew about. I was a problem to myself. I didn't do sure. anything. Like you know, t- my thoughts weren't a problem. You know, my the, I was a problem to our washing machine. 
It was a problem with the absolutely in, like gallons and gallons of cum that I had to wash out of my sheets, but I wasn't a problem to anyone else. Uh, Gary, I want to be ext- I, I, if you're willing to be honest here, I want to ask honest questions. Okay. Did you masturbate to completion while thinking about a 45 year old female teacher? Yes. 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 Thousands of times. Uh, more times than there are stars in the sky. That's that's my problem, though. Nobody has to know. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I have to know. Well, I have to know. <laughs> well, the, the, you the told teacher didn't me have this. to know. I didn't fucking bring this up. You, you. Well, I was thinking about the hot OnlyFans teacher, and it got me thinking. <laughs> it, got, <laughs> you know? it got you thinking about the gentle shine of sunlight off the ankle of Mrs. McManus. It, it's also for as you, she was teaching social studies. The English was the good one, and the. Uh, it's probably they're probably this like poor, closer to 35. This poor woman just wanted to teach you what a fucking verb was. And and I'll tell you one another thing, I was certainly not alone in this. Like I understand that you're trying to make me the problem. I I I'm, this is like 30% of my student body by volume. Like it was it was a known thing. Was there lead in the water? It's DeKalb, Illinois. It's uh, a, yeah, a lot of stuff goes on there, man. There's barbed wire in the water. Um, oh, uh, the, the Pamela Anderson film uh, that was given a heavy promotional push instead of the Mystery Science Theater 3000 movie, potentially leading to uh, the whole breakup of their deal with Comedy Central. Exactly. It's exactly that. I got the, I, I finally picked up the Mystery Science Theater 3000 uh, episode guide. It's a great book. Nice. Uh, we, we should say what this card does. We can, we can explore we my psychosexual high school. We like, should. As much as you want, but we should say what this does. Uh, I have this a unlocked. Psychosexual a- journey from DeKalb to the other part of DeKalb. Yep. Uh, to South DeKalb. Uh, this is the High Priestess. And uh, this gives you the broken shovel effect, which means mom's uh, leg starts stomping down for one whole minute, uh, targeting you. Yeah. Uh, so this is, uh, on the surface, this is just bad, but there are ways to make it work for you. It, it still does damage to other things it stomps on and you can, uh, basically you don't need bombs for the next minute. Yeah. And if you're constantly moving, it won't hit you. Uh, and it might hit enemies incidentally. Uh, I find this more trouble than it's worth. Oh, for sure. For sure. It's a joke card. Yeah. But it just, it has, it has an, it has an upside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's, uh, it's what I don't have all of the reverse cards unlocked. This is one of the yeah. ones I have unlocked. So it's always a bummer when I see it, I see the For reverse sure. card. I'm like, Oh yeah, baby, this will be fun. And then it's this. And it's like, ah, I guess, um, but you can make it work and it, it will do tons of damage. Like I imagine this would obviate like hush or delirium. If you can tank, you know, five hits just by running in circles around hush and delirium and just doing tons of damage every time this does, you know, hits them. You don't think this gets nerfed by uh, the armor? I mean, I guess it probably does. It just does a lot of damage. It's a lot of stomps. You yeah. know, I, I get a big DPS. You know, obviate is too strong a word. Probably obviates like yeah. Isaac. You know, like what you want to do is if you're care if you have the capacity to carry two things, is you want to pop uh, whatever that uh, on the shield, yeah, on on Sue's, and then uh, pop this, and then just watch mom's foot destroy everything that'd be right? yeah that's that'd be incredible and you know unicorn horn or just book of shadows unicorn stump book of shadows anything that give you invincibility would make this really really good yeah um just kind of hard to use uh a l- yeah, little awkward sure. you can't plan for it like all cards and pills so if it if it's a little bit awkward it's much worse than it might initially seem because you can't you're not it's not a deck builder you're not planning no um, uh, it is, but it is a good conceptual flip on what the normal high priestess very much does. so i'll give it that yeah uh, if you like this show, head on over to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv and use offer code, which teacher you thought was hot. And just her, just her name, just, just, just the name, put his or just put his or her name yep. and that'll be the offer code. Yep. Uh, but we will check. Yes. Uh, and if you think that the mom from home improvement is hotter than the mom from Malcolm in the middle, or if you're wrong. Uh, and then I, also, I have actually a... forgotten your extreme sexual interest in uh, Jane Kesmer. She's tough. She she yells a lot. Um, you can also leave us a reading <laughs> review on Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict, and uh, like this one. <laughs> yeah, it's another one from our old pal Chug Cluggins. I listened to this podcast while I went on a run yesterday, which has to be the first time that's ever been done. 
Can you think of any other examples of Guppy for one? I don't know, at the altar? Uh, while, uh, looking into the eyes of someone who loves you? Uh, while feeling happy? Yeah, these are all things that have not happened while listening to everything to Guppy. Five-star review. Yeah, well-performed review, Will. That sounded very natural, the way you acted that. Oh, the second half of that was me. Oh, I see. Okay. I, th- I thought that was them and you were just reading their stuff. I was pretty impressed. Sorry. Yeah, I I, I broke format there. I should have said that's a five-star review after uh, can you think of any other examples of Guppy for one? I just yeah. went into listing them. No, it's quite all right. Uh, no ghost. Hey, no ghost. Classic. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that covers every single tarot card, reversed and otherwise, in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is Catherine the Not-So-Great, LaHughes. Oh, in Soviet Russia, horse fucks me. <laughs> yeah. Apocryphal. Apocryphal. Rumors spread by her critics. It's because of horsemen. It's because of the Cossacks who would fuck her. It's ancient there's, sex there's a- shaming. Mm, there's no chance you've watched The Great, right? No. No, no. The Great's really good. You would like it. It doesn't but. sound... I mean, no, The Great being good is a big slap in the face there. Uh, mm-hmm. It should be great. Uh, it's it's close. It's often close to great. Close to great. They should call it the close to great. Yeah. They they really should have. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll let them know. Yeah. Give them a... Send them a press teaser about how they should do that. Um, a what? A press teaser. Like a, like What's that? that's when the press like does a little bit of feedback and like and kind of a, like a little tiny riddle or joke, uh, mm-hmm. back to a show or a showrunner. I'll tell you this: as someone who does have to occasionally talk to those people, they don't care for it. No, <laughs> they don't care for anything to their face where you're like, I didn't like that thing. The uh, as somebody who also uh, you know, creates content and gets feedback, I also don't care uh-huh. for it. Um, yeah, so I get no. it. I, I'm, I'm on their side now all of a sudden. I'm like, yeah, that does yeah. suck when somebody does that. Um, yeah. like when they've blocked off the time to talk to your fucking shit ass brain and you're asking them the questions you were up all night, the night before, and like, yeah. I gotta ask them about this. Eh, I don't know. Yeah. It's not great. It's a, it's okay. <sighs> Gary, I'm not a journalist. I'm a news writer you, i don't know you got, i don't know what to call myself you do you do you are a news writer who engages in both games criticism and journalism from time to time it's a it's a beautiful buffet here at geo media mm-hmm. uh everything to guppy a fine geo media product <laughs> yeah man get us bought out uh i can find you uh, product, and then we'll we'll retire like kings gary i don't think you understand <laughs> anything about geo media and that's where this conversation will stop yeah i got i got union negotiations coming oh yeah i can uh, i can shut up uh you were right that i don't understand dick about shit uh just generally <laughs> um you know that's okay i like it i don't mind it that that is okay yeah. gary you want to you want to uh go content forward with this one and talk about the card yeah let's get the card out of the way this will be a nice little recovery from accidentally almost getting you fired uh, we're talking no, about the, no, 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 no. I'm good. Everything's fine. I'm just saying that if uh, you have the choice of whether to be acquired by Geo Media or not, I would <laughs> contemplate that choice. Uh, like all choices for a long time. Yeah, yeah. For, like all like choices. All choices. I just bring it up all apropos choices. of nothing. Um, yes. The <laughs> every choice should be considered, yes. including and maybe especially that one. Yeah. Uh, this is the Reverse Empress. Uh, you get this by defeating Ultra Greedy or Tainted Eve. Uh, and it is, you know, the Empress card gives you the, uh, the horror Babylon effect. This gives you yeah, it turned... a buff. Go ahead. Or it gives you a defensive buff. Again, a very clever reversal, like all of these. Yeah. Like, I think the way I'm looking at this and thinking about it is, uh, the regular Empress gives you a uh, cheap Eve. Yes. Right. This gives you cheap Maggie. Yeah. Um, and it, it's, it can be useful. Uh, you get two temporary red hearts. Uh, you get a big tears rate upgrade. Yeah, uh, huge. So that part is not especially Maggie. Yeah, but. that's not very Maggie, but it's it's also huge. One point five tier rate is the equivalent of like two sad onions, the equivalent yeah. of two items. Uh, minus point one speed, which is not that much, um, for one minute, along with Maggie's hairstyle, uh, mm-hmm. which is cute. 
Um, if you it is character, if you have a character that can't get red containers, you can't get those two red containers. You'll get their equivalent. Uh, you'll get soul hearts, bone hearts, or black hearts. So this is basically an alternate take on strength, uh, where you're getting uh, instead of getting the damage up, you're getting a DPS up from uh, fire Tears. race point of view. Instead. It as opposed, yeah. you know, the the uh, the pact versus the mark, you know, uh, and that's real cool. And it's I feel like because strength. They went the weakness mm-hmm. route rather than this. Like it's a different way of canting the, yeah. the card. Um, useful. Like, uh, yeah, like the, I feel like I want the, this is the kind of thing I would, I, I would rather have for a room than a minute. Yeah. But it it's the, uh, the extra health containers are nice. You know, like the next four hits you take don't really matter. Uh, right. the real big thing about this is the fire rate increase. Um, mm-hmm. I, I am pretty sure. Uh, I haven't gotten this tons because I only, uh, you know, I haven't ran into it very often. I think it breaks the tier cap. Uh, so, okay. so that is, that is a big deal. Um, so it is a big buff. Um, it just is and, a more subtle buff than a direct damage buff. And the speed hit is more flavored than anything. Yeah. Like, it's not uh, very much. Uh, again, to put that in context, the same way the fire rate is two items, the speed is about a third of an item. So yeah. like an item will give you 0.3. This uh, knocks you down 0.1, so just a third of an item. Not too bad. If you've gotten any speed ups, you won't feel this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like pretty you, fun. You won't feel anything. If you got enough speed ups, you're the Flash, you're and dead. you just vibrate you're dead. through. You're dead. Yeah. Uh, you become Barry Allen, and you don't. You just uh, vibrate through shit. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm a Wally West guy. Wally West, he's the one with the bad helmet, or is that Barry Allen? Who's got the, who's oh, got the tin pan I- helmet? I generally find most of the flash. Uh, no, the tin pan helmet is Jay Garrick, the the old the golden age flash. Okay, got you. Uh, the the, the thought, original. For some flash. reason, I thought Wally West was the original Flash, but I'm... no, no, Jay Garrick was the oh. golden age Flash. Uh, Barry Allen was the silver age Flash, and then uh, when they updated the character in the eighties, they gave him a teen. Hell, Jordan. Uh, no, that's Green I know. Uh, uh, they gave him a teen sidekick uh, who was Kid Flash. And then when uh, Barry died in Crisis on Infinite Earths, uh, Wally became regular Flash. Became Impulse. Nope, that's Bart Allen. Oh, the Bart Allen. Like, Not yeah. Barry Allen. Uh, nope, that's Barry's uh, great, 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 great grandson from the future. Oh, I see. Um. Yeah. Gary, I'm uh, I. Your flash bill as a courtesy. As a courtesy, I don't do that normally, <laughs> but I could on most topics the, uh, of this kind of nerd vintage. The, um, that's, that's what you call a flash fact. I would like to challenge that you don't do it most of the time, and, All right, and downgrade, well, that, downgrade that to you don't do it about half the time you could, which Gary, is still pretty good. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's still pretty good. <laughs> the, um, don't grade. Don't grade me on a curve. Why not? So, so give me your top five sitcom moms to crank your my sad hogs my to. tiny rod, um, yeah. boy. So, I'm tiny rod. <laughs> I'm tiny Todd. Uh, we we uh, we're children uh, of tiny Flanders. We're, we're, we're waiting with bated breath to hear if our mom's on the list. <laughs> yeah, she's she's pretty hot, but is she as hot as hell with love, Joey? I don't know. Um, Marge is up there. <laughs> Uh, you know, so, so well, Gary, th- we're in a different realm now where I want to ask you, uh, go ahead and rate the Simpsons women in terms uh, of hotness. In, uh, yeah. You're never going to believe who's number one. Uh, 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 is it Marge? No, Marge is up there though. Uh, okay. it might be Edna Krabappel. Uh, of course it's Edna Krabappel, Gary. She's I, a teacher. I was, I was like very worried. I was very worried you were going to say anyone but Edna Krabappel, and we were just going to have no... This podcast has Ms. to Hoover. exist in the space between us, and if you destroy the space between us by saying that Edna Krabappel is not the hottest woman in Springfield, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to do. She does. There's that, no connection between us anymore. There's that teacher talent show where she does the, the dance where she pops the balloons on herself, and everyone in the audience is like, ugh! And I'm like, uh-huh. Edna Krabappel not supposed to be hot? Um... Fuck, man. It's, yeah, we don't know. We don't know if she's we supposed to be hot. So, uh, you know, March, uh, mm-hmm. Home Improvement Mom, uh, Malcolm in the Middle Mom. No, uh, okay, okay. Uh, so we're back, we're back in sick. I'm just, I'm just doing TV moms. That's why I thought the question okay, was. Okay, sure. Um, right, okay. Yeah. Because uh, Edna Krabappel's not a mom. So that's why, that's where Marge uh, pops in. Brutal. There. <laughs> she never will be, actually. And the Krabappel is barren, yeah. and therefore I cannot yeah. get it up And for the voice her. actress died, so she never will be. So, joke's on her. 
Um, uh, what Gary's really, resp- it's gotta be a mom for Gary's dick to get hard. The, no, that's just the question that was asked. Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. No, Gary's just, Gary just loves It's categories. MILFs, not ILFs. Um, the, uh, <laughs> MILFs, ilf not ILFs. An, I like MILFs, not MILFs. MILFs, not ILFs. MILFs, MILF. not ILF. ILF! Everybody, everybody in the office. The, the ILF on the shelf? Is that anything? <laughs> the, uh, it is for Gary, me. Gary, go on. Um, yeah, the, uh, yeah, TV moms. It's, it's a little tricky cause I didn't watch tons of sitcoms. I know. You know? Uh, so I'm trying to think what sitcoms I watched. Uh, this is going to get real boring real quick. Oh, uh, Beverly Crusher, not a sitcom, but TV mom. Uh, sure. definitely did it for me. Um, you know, I was more of a role layer in man. Uh, not well, a mom I mean, as far as I can tell. Uh, you know, yeah. Uh, no, not, not a mother. In yeah, fact, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, Michelle Forbes, a beautiful mother. woman. Yeah. Very beautiful woman. Um, All right, yeah, Gary, uh, this is now it's, just you. It's just, this has gone from fun to... Yeah, it's just sad. It, I, I don't like yeah. it anymore. <laughs> Let's stop. Yeah, I don't I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. Yeah, it's uh, our famous sign-off. Yeah. I, we, we do the show until we don't like it anymore, and then it just kind of ends. <laughs> yeah, that's why the show is usually only about two minutes long. Yeah, yeah. And we, what if we, we tried to do these two minutes? Ooh, each episode or the whole week, so 30 seconds per item. Oh, they're both very tempting, aren't they? <laughs> the, um, we could we could cruise through the rest of these cards if we did it that way. We could really fuck them up. It'd, it'd be really uh, difficult because we'd have to figure out what they do since we were deeply in uh, uncharted yeah, Isaac uh. territory. Uh, oh yeah, I reminder: I have not played with any of these cards. <laughs> yeah. it's you're, such you're, a, t- you're talking to theory craft. Will. It's such a dumb show. I, I such a dumb yeah, show, it's it's show, really man. bad. I uh, I enjoy. Uh, how bad I think it's it uh, the level they play those games. This is the worst show on the network. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, well, um, the it's certainly <laughs> the worst show you're on. Thinking, maybe at this point. Um, what would come on? Let's do. What would be, what worse? Would be worse? Yeah, oh, abject boy. suffering is funny. No, I love abject suffering. I don't necessarily think abject suffering is funnier, uh, but I, I love abject suffering. I think that sometimes, depending on the subject matter, bonfire side chat is actually a little worse. Uh, okay. If it's something we're talking about that is like neither of us are particularly interested in or sure. when we get we're like very exhausted, mm-hmm. you know, by the end of something, I think that that gets a little worse. Like if I'm being Guppy's super honest, certainly a more energetic show. Yes, maybe that's I'm. it's always it's very hard for me, though, to be objective because I'm also rating the time I have. So, like, I don't know if it necessarily makes a worse show. The Patreon numbers wouldn't say so, but it, it makes I have more fun, <laughs> you know? Yeah uh having you know doing this and i care a lot about my own fun which i like to think comes through uh, yeah gary i think this these last two episodes have been a, a strong documentation of your of me spiritual des- devotion des- to your own enjoyment describing at length the ways i used to have fun um yeah. dear patricia richardson yeah. i would like you to know a thing about what happens when i watch your television <laughs> program i'd like to and that's it. why she hasn't worked yep it's a uh, unfortunate she's too wrapped around the axle on the uh, DeKalb, Illinois student body. Uh, oh, man. We we this really need to body. get the, the EPA to investigate that town, man. Yeah. It's a... Uh, maybe, maybe there was like extra estrogen or something in the water. Something. Or no, oxytocin. Maybe there was an oxytocin deficiency. Hmm. So your entire town had some kind of like loss of attachment to female mm, figures. Yeah. So they all needed to jerk off to their TV moms. I have a friend who I won't name here who had sure. my TV mom thing for Derek? Tipper Gore. Derek? It was Derek. Derek? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> had that for Tipper Gore, uh, which all I right. think is also very funny. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm loading up my mental JPEG of Tipper Gore, yeah. and it's a bl- it's blonde hair on, on top of like just... Some Midwestern lady. Yeah, now I'm looking at Tipper Gore. Not super good looking. Yeah. I think Derek could do better. Um, yeah. <laughs> hey, we, we, are we accidentally reinventing Hot or Not for the women of the 90s? I just, it's just been in my head because of that teacher, man. That how teacher devastated me up. Would, <laughs> like, Gary, I want you to take a moment and think about how devastated Tipper Gore would be to find to listen to this podcast <laughs> and have you say she's not an attractive woman. It would be great to create another Tipper Gore like scare, you know, like a moral panic yeah. based on this. Uh-huh. You know, I, I've never jerked off to Joe Lieberman. No, no. All right. While we're talking about people who uh, were all about I, the moral I hate panic. games and stuff. Yeah. Well, oh, shit, man. There's, it's not too late. Why didn't Roger Ebert like video games? Uh, Gary. Uh, oh, yeah. Patreon. People... Uh, and then um, <laughs> there's also ratings reviews. 
Uh, I'm I'm tapped. I think Ooh. I think the well is dry. Let me let me pull up Apple Podcast. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> this one's mean. Uh. Uh. This one's from Jackie Joe 237 and the title is Don't Come to My Restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Two men who wish they were funny torment me weekly. Oh. Listen is Gary Butterfield, a man who needs to make wait staff laugh and make me dread the day they come into my place of work and try to make me laugh. No monsters have been covered since I left my initial review several, several years ago. Get on it, gut boys. The uh, Cole also does that. We we spend a lot of time making fun of me for wanting to make waitstaff laugh, but Cole does it uh-huh. just as bad. And together we're fucking disgusting. Oh my so, god! Next time he's in town, we need to go out to dinner it, so that I have. I want it, when it, I write my suicide note, I want <laughs> to be able to like fill in something real definitive well, on the subject yeah, line. Specificity is the soul of a suicide note. It, like right? it'll make that thing. It'll make that just, fucker really sing. You can't. You can't just put sad if you put a form suicide note that is a huge fuck you to your family like (laughs) do do not just use the template the clippy like that tells you how to do a suicide note you have to make it from the heart hello friends and family of in brackets (laughs) me i i i I regret to inform you (laughs) that i have resigned from you i like to do a mail merge and that's how I just take a spreadsheet of all the people I'd like to address my suicide note to and just have an autofill. Word will do it, basically, as long as you have uh, you know the proper uh, documentation and stuff for it. Gary, can I give you a mentally powerful thought? Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> mentally powerful thought. Yeah. A, a suicide note being bounced back by the mailer demon. Ah. Uh... That's great. That's bleak. Like the last thing you see as like the, the, the rope like an alternate is... a, a alternate intro to Midsummer, where yeah. she sends that like <laughs> everything is black. Mom and dad are coming too, and then it just yeah. scrolls down and there's like could not be you delivered. Just see the immediate report. <laughs> <laughs> <The immediate report. laughs> because you fucking mistyped. Yeah, and then just oh. like and then it, we cut to Danny. And she's screaming about it. And the boyfriend is like, did, did you make sure she got the, oh, you didn't get the email? God yeah, damn it. I got the, I and got the, yeah. email. And then Will Poulter's like, you got to break up with this girl, dude. Uh, and, you know. She's got like seven numbers in her email address. <laughs> <It's impossible laughs> she's still using In some ways, it's her stuff. fault this all happened. Yeah. The, <laughs> her hotmail is out of control. Uh, man. No ghost. No ghost. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the podcast where we talk about every single item in the binding of Isaac. Uh, but not monsters yet. Uh, good call, Jackie Joe 237. Yep. You really the you pivot. really burnt us on that. Yep. Uh, I'm William Hughes, and I'm joined as always by Rysiak Sulej. Gary yeah. Butterfield. Yeah, that's me, Rysiak Sulej. You, you want to take a guess at it or just want me to say it? Oh, I don't. Um. Uh, uh, it's Julius Caesar backwards. Oh, this is the Sulej. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. know it's the emperor. I, I, I got oriented. And you, you couldn't think that Rissiak might be Caesar backwards? Well, I mean, I just didn't, it, I don't have it on, like, in the pocket. I would have to think about it for a second. I, okay, if well, you, think about it for a second well, and then tell me if you think you would have gotten it. I, I think I would have gotten it. Awesome. Yeah, yeah I, bl- I agree. Yeah. I believe you. It, I don't think it's that hard if, if you had to, but I don't, like, just intuit words backwards <laughs> automatically. <laughs> Not insane. Well, uh, you then know? that gum you like is never coming back in style. Yeah, sad. The, what gum do you like that you wish would come back in style? Oh, all, all gums that I like are available. Uh, every once in a while, I like a clove gum. You fuck, you're fucking charmed life. Man. I know. Well, the only weird gum that I like at all is clove gum, and you can buy that now. So, like, it already happened for me. All right. Do you, do you have a gum that is you like that is not in style? I don't think so, no. Yeah, fruit, fruit by the mile? Like the discredited gum that was killing kids? Yeah, it was just... It was what? Razor shards? In yeah. There? Well, also, you had to chew a lot of gum. It was just yeah. too much gum. It was too much gum. Yeah. Kids were choking. Yeah, no gum. I have two different... I, I'm, I'm, I've been on a gum kick lately. I have two uh, mid-chew wads of gum within arm's distance right yeah, now. Yeah, you're a gum saver. Uh, in the, the I don't like I don't like waste. In the Will will put anything in his mouth corner of the podcast. 
But this is designed for mouth and chewing. It's not designed for storage. It comes out wet. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, that's, that's fair, what you're saying. <laughs> I understand why you're saying it, and it's fair. It dries. Yeah. Uh, during which, who knows, and what happens in between need not be specified. Um, well, who, who knows what happens to any food that you're not immediately looking at? Like, you know, it's coming in. Well, a lot of times know, it's you sealed. Order a, you know, a lot, a lot of times, not always, but a lot of times it has like a, a, a protective oh. barrier. You order a nice Chilean sea bass at a restaurant. You don't know what's happening between it, uh, that counter and your It might have got sneezed on like 10 times. That's true. It might, if they don't have the sneeze guard up, it, it's happening all the time. Yeah. So my gum is also like that, but good. Yeah, but also being sneezed. I just, I'm surprised that you want to save it because gum, I will chew a gum until it loses its flavor. Then I don't want it anymore. You know? uh, well, Gary, I have an oral fixation and need to be chewing something at like all times. Ah. And gum is safer than my fingernails or my toenails or thumbtacks. And less gross, if we're just being honest. So Is it? Yeah. Like marginally, but One yeah. One of these pieces of gum has been sitting here for a week, Gary. Still, Are you still, still mar- to your toenails? Yes. Your toenails have been sitting there for like 36 years. Uh, <laughs> that's a great one. well not the one on the on the left big toe because yeah. i ripped that one clean off uh. uh and it's been in it that is if you ask me like i i got some work done okay. this year like uh i think guppy's going well uh i covered succession for work and i think did a really good job on it okay i got married yeah if i'm if i'm listing my biggest accomplishment this year is that i have mostly regrown the big toenail on my left foot that uh, after i dug too deep and it died <laughs> <laughs> yeah that that is uh activating mirror neurons in a horrible horrible way uh you look at it you, you look at it now nothing's even black anymore oh man <laughs> it, it really went through a, a, a beautiful rainbow of unhappy color yeah you know? it really sounds like it yeah when, when you were standing next to me at my wedding you were regrowing you were it standing then, like next a, to yeah. a black toe oh boy yeah yeah that stuff really f- fucks me up uh, yeah, I kicked something and I don't really remember what it was, but I have a big bruise on my toe now oh, and that's no. bothering me. Like, I don't, I don't like toe shit. Toe, yeah. toe stuff's gross to me. Um, what were you saying before that gum? Oh, uh, what's your gum? What's your go-to gum, man? Right now, what I'm doing is they've got a, uh, the polar ice people who do the cubes yep. or Arctic ice. They have a grape. Ooh. Uh, I, 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 I can fuck with an artificial grape flavor yeah. pretty hard. Uh, yes. You know, it doesn't last very long, but uh, it's very intense and very tasty. That sounds great. That sounds great. It's good. Um, I should check that out. You ever go, you ever <laughs> fuck with uh, cinnamon gum? Every once in a while, I don't, it's I don't. really rare, but like once every four years, I'm like, hmm. And then I have like a, well, a cin- cinnamon summer gum, period. I I remember like for a while there, like when Trump got into office, just everybody was covering all that shit, even like entertainment outlets, because we were all trying to keep our brains yeah. from completely frying. Uh, there was a news story that, uh, came out, uh, that revealed that Sean Spicer, okay. uh, his, you dancing know, with the potato stars, shaped, notable man. Yeah. Dancing with the stars, uh, luminary, uh, goes through like a pack of big, re- like two packs of big red a day. Yeah. Uh, and maybe eats it. They certainly, there were, it's suggested that he eats it, but that might've just been wishful thinking. Yeah. I was being mean. Can't. Yeah, cinnamon gum, I can't really fuck with. He also, uh, I was in the New York Times once okay. because I wrote a story about Sean Spicer's ongoing Twitter war with Dippin' Dots. Yes, I remember Because that. at multiple points, he would write a tweet at Dippin' Dots, angry at them claiming to be the ice cream of the future. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. the uh, You know what ah. gum uh, is great for? Other than oh, chewing. Uh, if you work retail, like I, I got into gum. Uh, working at Fred Meyer because I would be bored walking around and it costs like a dollar to go see what kind of gums are available, try out a brand new gum and chew it for like a, you know, a couple hours. And when I did that, it was this huge sea change in gum revolutions where like weird dessert gums were coming uh-huh. in. Do you remember those? Like you, no. you would get like, you know, uh, Wrigley presents ice cream pie, like, strawberry shortcake gum and they like emulate it really well it was this weird way to like pretend like i was eating dessert when i was just walking around doing a job i hated it was great that's all this week has been difficult as someone who loves you yeah (laughs) Yeah. it's a perfectly like reasonable thing to say and think it's it's the 
I can hear the joy in your voice is, is I guess, what's making me sad. <laughs> Why? Like, I was very happy to have that I'm, gum. I'm uh, just imagining the Gary who never met Cole. Okay. Oh, who's still chewing gum in a Fred Meyer parking lot. Like who's on his like, break. Come in, like, hey, hey, Debbie, new gum come in? Yeah. No? Guess I'll go back to my car and think about putting the exhaust in here. Yeah. That's, I mean, that, that was pretty accurate uh, for it. It probably bought me another week at that job. Like not That's, like in, in total yeah. of like, you know, before being so miserable, I'd have to leave. And then like looking for another job. Gum was probably what put that off for an entire week cumulatively. That and that, balls energy I, drink. I, sure. Yeah. With Guarana. Yeah. Which I used uh, to drink. The root beer one. Oh, not with Guarana. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. It had Guarana, but it just tasted like root beer. It didn't taste like an energy drink. Gary, I, I, I think we're doing good scientific work here because I think you have just isolated the smallest possible joy. Okay. It, it's gu- yeah. Small joy, but it can have a, if I stayed at work for another week, if it staved off misery mm-hmm. for an entire week, it is probably in terms of a ratio, one of the smallest joys to biggest output. Yeah. That I can think of, you know, I, I just, I just think that we're going to be able to send this episode to uh, the scientists in Washington. Okay. And they're going to like, in like a couple of years, you're going to see in all of the psychological research studies, like, oh, uh, this produced 1.2 megagums. Yeah, that's a great idea. Or maybe we just call him. Uh, maybe we just call the unit Gary. Gary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's how hot a TV mom is. Um, oh, is right. the uh, uh, <laughs> is the Gary? Well, it's it's literally it's a measurement of cum. Yes, it, it's how many milligarys there are per. Yeah, uh, per semen. Uh, a tablespoon and a half of gum is one Gary. Yes. Uh, there's a conversion chart somewhere in the back. This is all for the uh, Everything to Guppy source book that we eventually sure, yeah. release that has the back is all basically just charts and random encounter tables about this kind of stuff. Gary, I'm going to look this up uh, and it's gross, but whatever. Uh, how much do you think uh, one cum is actually in terms of liquid volume? So I thought it was uh, there's a band called 20 CC from the 70s. Okay. And I thought that's why they named themselves that same thing with the Love and Spoonful. Sure. I think that's why they call themselves that. So I think that's the size anecdotally. Yeah. I've just typed into Google. How much does a guy come? And then I, I wanted to be scientific. So I put volume <laughs> okay. afterwards. Oh, see, this is, this is much, but 20 cc's is a lot. Let's be clear. Okay. Uh, this says 1.5 to 5.0 milliliters per ejaculation. So half a, half a, a centiliter. Okay. The, the band is called 10 cc as well. I fucked up. Okay. So, so uh, I can't remember what the conversion between a cubic centimeter and a milliliter liter is, yeah. but, uh, but this is from Medline plus medical encyclopedia, uh, which says uh, it can go from 1.5 to 5.0 milliliters. Uh, ooh, Google asks, people also ask how heavy is male sperm? Hey, about a gram. Oh, seems about right. Oh, wait, no, that, that's density about oh. a, a gram per milliliter. Well, you have to go to where uh, a scientist is taking a bath and then come in their bathtub to get the density. And then the Eureka! <laughs> Eureka! And then you're just like, oh, they're like, oh, okay. Like the, the bathtub water rose when you came in my bathtub. Yeah. Is male sperm thick or watery? Is thick male sperm good? <laughs> Ooh, we've got one from ISSM.info. Good what is doing tons determine? of work in that. I, yeah. Good. <laughs> I like this because it's not an especially horny question. It's a lot of people who are worried. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like I yeah. You Google when you got thick gum. Yeah. yeah. Is thick, thick semen is not always a cause for concern. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes though, usually it just means you have to drink more water. Um. I. I yeah. Uh, we we should say what the item does real quick. What what fucking item? What is the average ejaculation volume near one point five to five? Uh, why do some guys ejaculate more than others? That's from Aloe Health. How to increase ejaculation in semen volume? I've never felt that that, that was an issue oh, that, that I needed help with. I've never thought noticed that either. But that is a really big thing among some dudes uh, who really want to like bring it, so like sincerely. Book club. Yeah, it, get some write write succession reviews. Regrow a toenail. Yeah, the, Find something in real life to take pride in, and the, not how much and how hard you jizz. That's a it's it's such a real thing. There are huge forums of it. Like it's it's nuts. Speaking of Caesar, ooh, wait, hold. 
Here's one from the Wiley Online Library. Ejaculate volume is seriously underestimated when <laughs> semen is pipetted or decanted into cylinders from the collection vessel. <laughs> That's a paper someone wrote. Decanted. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a huge problem. We're we're seriously underestimating the volume here of the ejaculate because of our goddamn pipettes. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> Into cylinders specifically. Uh, yeah, they'll never hold shapes now. Gary, um this is a really actually clever card. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah. Uh this is I don't have this because I haven't played very much as tainted blue baby yeah uh, um, this is the emperor question mark yeah uh it says may you find a worthy opponent uh it sends you to a boss room that is two floors deeper in challenge uh you know never a final boss but like two floors deeper and you just fight the boss for a reward uh yeah and not and not like a special like the the standard boss room reward yep. uh this does not progress you from the floor it just gives you a door back to wherever you spawned from yep uh so it's just basically you know do you want an extra item? You can have it, but you got to fight a tough boss. That's so good, Gary. It's, that is such a cool little risk reward. Though. It's great. And it also feels like it breaks the rules, you know, in, yeah. in this way. Like it, it's just God do, repentance again, game of the year, every year, basically, if you actually yeah. stop and think about it, like it's so detailed and good. I, I got to show Liv a uh, little plum and then oh, show yeah. her the, the Easter egg. She's like, she's so cute. Uh-huh. I'm like, yeah, she's cute. Doesn't you don't want to attack her. Right. And she's like, yeah, I would never attack her. I'm like, check this out. Uh, and it's just, I had that little moment of like, Hey, Hey, this is a good fucking game. I've dedicated my life to, uh, yeah. you know, uh, right now my wife loves me. Yes. <laughs> um, oh, I'm, 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 I'm experiencing many Gary's right now. Yeah. Oh, well, Liv, Liv was into it. Uh, when I, yeah. when I tell Liv about that kind of stuff, it's not inflicting anything on her. She's great. Um, it's not. It sounds great. I know. She sounds great. She's, well, she's wonderful. Love of my life. I, Gary, I agree except with half of it. Yeah. She's not the love of my life. Well, that's a thank God. Gary, I have a terror. I have a terror. <laughs> make this show real weird. Like the worst, yeah. the worst season of The Bachelor that's ever been. 1,000 <laughs> episodes of Cuppy to win Jan Baden's hand. Um, <laughs> that's the pivot. We get yeah, to see who wins. We, we, we see who takes Gary home the I golden Guppy to... Rose. <laughs> <laughs> the pivot is Gary and I trying to seduce each other's wives. <laughs> the, the wife swap. Uh, <laughs> but they don't know we're doing nope. it. Nope. <laughs> uh, it makes the whole thing a little bit less savory, to be honest. It, it, it's <laughs> a, a little, yeah, a little. Mildly worse as an idea. Uh, if you like this show and you like things that are mildly worse, please go to patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. Give us some dollars. Then also go to ratings, reviews, and Apple Podcasts, Podcast Addict, or wherever. Give us some ratings and reviews, please. Uh, yeah, and you should go do that because, let me check Canada, but we're basically out at the moment. Uh, nope, see, that's just the one about uh, Planet for Their Baby. No. Yeah, uh, we are currently tapped on reviews, wow. so go ahead and fill the bank up. Yeah, uh, we'd appreciate it. We'd appreciate you. Somebody somebody in chat revealed that they uh, recently got a friend into the show. Do that. Yeah, do do that and get that friend to write a review. It's not enough to get them to listen to the show. We don't care about the listenership. Uh, we just need reviews we need stars. to read because we've installed this. We've installed this segment yeah. in our show. We're Nemesis. And we, we, we is Nemesis. Yeah. Uh, no ghost. No ghost. Hello and welcome to Everything to Guppy, the Binding of Isaac podcast that talks about every soul in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is the reason that Jesus fell in love with her, Will Hughes. Uh, yeah, Gary, I am the reason uh, that Jesus fell in love with Mary Magdalene. I was Mary Magdalene's uh, biblical wingman. Yeah, <laughs> you're her Jiminy Cricket. In, uh, Man, she's a, uh, boy, she's really uh, she's hot. Rocking, rocking that. Yeah. In some ways, the original, if you believe the Da Vinci Code, she's the original. Well, I guess Mary would yeah. be the original. They're both hot, to be honest. The, um, yeah, yeah that, I did, never thought about that Mary with MILFs, but here we are. Um, well, uh, <laughs> get the washing machine ready, Liv. <laughs> I, 
take care of it myself now. Um, What's that mean? Oh, I, I mean, I mean, I wash my own clothes. Uh, okay. The, uh, you know. I also wash my own clothes. Is no. that weird? No, not at all. The egalitarian, modern, we... you know, dick yeah. take care of your own shit. It's good. Uh, I, I also, I also like that. Yeah. But I wonder if it's because I, I didn't date till I was like thirty. So I'm just like, hey, w- women's work is a gross idea. You just, you just, it is. Oh, it's yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, but I also don't watch Olivia's stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm worried about ruining it. Same. And just because it's a much more involved process. They've got these bras, Gary, yeah. with wires in them. There's rules about what you... I, I, Gary, are you a, a conscientious clothes washer? Conscientious clothes washer. Uh, do you... When you are preparing to do your laundry, are you like, well, this goes with this and this no. goes with that? No. Not even okay. a little bit. It all goes in the pile. And then it all goes in the drawers. Pile! Exactly. Pile! Shazam! Uh, No, I also don't fold my clothes. Like, there's lots of reasons I don't do Liv's laundry. Oh, Gary, I don't do, uh, I don't have a dresser. I just have two hampers. Clothes move between. That's a great idea. I have a dresser and it's taking up so much fucking space. It's a very wrinkly idea. Yeah, well, it is. But I, like, I work from home. (laughs) Yeah, same. I don't go anywhere. Why do I care about wrinkles? Um, What? Why do you care about clothes? I ex- You know how the number of outside pants I have compared to the number of inside pants and shorts I have is like a one to 10 ratio. <laughs> Gary, I have two outside pants. Me too. I, I have jeans and I have nice pants. Oh, I, I actually, I have more than that. I have two jeans and I have a, a set of joggers that I can wear outside. Um, okay. But yeah, it, it basically the same thing. And then I just have like bike shorts and workout shorts and tons of boxers I'll wear, a couple pairs of sweatpants. Mm-hmm. Oh, the the underwear. Uh, thanks to uh, Olivia, has a mild fixation on MeUndies. Okay. Uh, which uh, not a sponsor, but genuinely are the best underwear I've ever worn. Okay. Uh, I have. I'm good on underwear. Nice. One set of pants. Yeah. You don't need that many more sets of pants. You know how many shoes? They're, you got? they're far away from the nose. They're yeah. hard to get stains on. How many pairs of shoes do you have? One that yeah. I've been wearing for ten years. Yeah, we're 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 very similar in this regard. This is this is why I, we don't do our wives' laundry because. I, I like the pair of shoes I have. Like I get that. That is the thing I do get shit from uh, the women who love me about is I have not replaced my shoes. in literally, I think as long as you've known me. Yeah. I, I only have because I've had to, I replace shoes once they are no longer viable. Uh, yeah. These are, uh, these are good. And I don't think doc Martens makes them anymore. Okay. Uh, so On a print. Uh, yeah, they're good. They, they, they look just nice enough to, you can kind of wear them mm-hmm. to a nice place. But they're not uncomfortable. Yeah. Perfect shoes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've never, I don't know if you're the same way. Uh, when I talked to Liv about this, she's like, oh, you know, I, I want to wear shoes that like go with outfits and stuff. I have never looked at anyone's shoes in my entire fucking life. Like I have never looked at somebody, looked at their outfit and been like taking their shoes into account. Thought cool shoe, bad shoe. Never. E- even in high school. Even in high school. You know, because Even... the shoes were just an obstacle to what I really wanted. <laughs> so sure, there, it's, okay, it's like, I don't okay, think about banana peels, man. Um, the, uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about shoes. Cause I don't think about banana peels. Yeah. It's uh, uh you know, I, I just want to get the sweet, sweet fruit. And so I'm not a foot guy. Um, the, uh, unless it's like stepping on yeah. a neck or yelling at me or something. The, um, the foot is yelling at you. Well, while I guess yelling at me. So, I mean, not the foot. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to hurt you, Otto. We just want to have fun. Um, the, uh, yeah. So, anywho, yeah, not, not in the shoes. It's Soul Day. I'm going to leave you anyway. I'm going to. Soul. You're going to walk right out that. Soul. You're going to walk right out that. Soul. You're going to walk right out that. Soul. 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 Well, that was a that was a nice that was a good that was a good uh, segue. Was that on purpose? Yeah. Shoes. Soul. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. By the way, uh, because people ask, the soul song is 7:30 a.m. by Sloth Rust, aka the theme song to "You're the Worst." Sloth Rust. All right then. It's uh, they're a band. Okay. Uh, you might like it. It's kind of like, kind of like lo-fi kind of, I don't know. I'm, I'm terrible at describing music, but kind of like grungy down key shit. The, uh, 
I, for somewhere I got the impression, and I think it was from somebody else talking about it in the Slack, that it was the theme to Young Sheldon. I think they were joking. Well, Gary, if you recall, I made a fake one uh, that I sent to you that was the Big Bang Theory song. Yeah, I remember that one. But I, th- I thought somebody said that something was the about... Joke. No, okay. that was the joke. Got you. I thought that was the real one as well. I didn't listen to it. No, I don't think it. Young Sheldon has a theme song, because Young Sheldon's from a more modern era. Okay. You just get right into it. There's too much Sheldon to talk about. Um, I, I don't know that for sure. I've watched, I think, two episodes of Young Sheldon that I like Jesus. for like work right when the show came out. Mm-hmm. Gary, I got to watch TV for work. I know. I know. Uh, but no, Gary, uh, I made the Bing Bang Theory one as a joke. It's in the Slack if you want to hear it. I think it's pretty funny because it's just the whole song. And then at the end, mm-hmm. I just have put you in saying soul for a long time. Yeah, I, I, I did think that was funny, but I thought you were doing it. I didn't. I haven't listened to an episode since we I didn't listen to the last episode. We oh, just started doing what, souls. What? Yeah. <laughs> what? No. I what? live it. Uh, I, I was there for the first draft. Um. You know. Oh, so you think I'm putting out all your slurs? Yeah. <laughs> no, I edit those. Yeah, edit them into worse slurs. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like I just, I replace every instance of uh, you know, anti-Italian American slurs with anti-African American slurs, just to make sure. it worse. Yeah. 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 Oh man, oh, I'm geez. glad you don't do that. Uh, I, we have hey, a lot Gary, of fun I'm here. glad I don't do that too. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, on a lot this of one, fun saying we? things that aren't true. And Gary, we fucking peaked in episode two, and we're just trying to we're yeah. just hanging on for dear fucking life. Yeah, just uh, like we we peaked. Uh, explain, uh, and it wasn't even we didn't even do it. Revealing that Derek used to masturbate to Tipper Gore is probably the funniest thing that happened yeah. here. And like that's we didn't even do it. It was just a way that he used to come. Like yeah. we can't take credit for how he came. Oh, I I did love that Gautier song though. Yeah, <laughs> just the way used, that I used to come. come. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I mixed that up with the uh, just somebody that I used to know. Oh yeah, different. So, because they're both uh, the, the yeah. they're both called somebody I used to know. It's well, a, Gary. Then who's really at fault? Gautier. Here? I think it's Gautier. It's yeah. Gautier. Yeah, Gautier. Uh, he's not the Gautier to me. And to a lesser extent, Kimbra. Yeah. Yeah, and then Will, and then me. Yeah, and then Wang Chung. For oh. setting down the uh, the basic template that uh, somebody I used to know builds off of. I can't believe Wang Chung had the balls to write a song called Everybody Wang Chung Tonight. And then the song <laughs> is just about right. that. It's it's like, it's kind of amazing to me. I mean, they, you know, they used to do that sometimes. Yeah. Like, this is our band song. The Venga Bus is coming. Yeah, it's very similar to the Venga Bus. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a thing. Modridge, we should, we should do like, do the funky Modridge or something. We'll, we'll figure I, something out. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you need to second draft that one, buddy. <laughs> Do the funky Modridge is what it is. Yeah, it's it's free. I wish I could sell the guys on that. Uh, they famously Who's love like dance novelty aunt, music. But he's a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Who, and it does need to have the cadence of the Donkey Kong rap. Yeah, just like we'll each take a time, you know, a turn explaining things about ourselves. You know, well, the lady Gary, in Malcolm you... was pretty hot, especially the one where she got pregnant. And then, like, the beat keeps going. And then, Gary, <laughs> sometimes I do wish your life was a comedy script I could write because <laughs> if you guys did that and used it as your opener at every show, <laughs> I would lose my fucking mind. Yeah. Well, I'm Gary and I'm married twice. <laughs> and I'm, I'm diabetic, so I don't eat rice. And I think the mom from Home Improvement is nice. <laughs> and. And now here comes Andrew playing the guitar. Um, guitar. Guitice. Uh We're talking about the soul of Magdalene today. Which, yeah, like, uh, there's not a ton to this one. It, it's it's good. Like, every if you're in a regular room, so this surrounds you, you get an aura that gives you the uh, tainted Maggie effect, kind of. If you kill an enemy, they drop half a half heart. Half the tainted Maggie effect. Yeah, half the tainted Maggie thing. Uh. They drop half a heart that disappears in two seconds. What this means is if you're in a fight with lots of enemies in it, you're basically invincible if you have red hearts. Like, you you can't really die. Every enemy you kill, you can heal a little bit. It just lasts for a room. It's defensive. Against a single target, it's not very good. Uh, Yeah, it's situational is what I'll say. Very situational. Um, Um, If you're running this uh, against uh, the bosses, like the mega bosses that spawn a lot of ads, so Hush or uh, Super greed. uh, Greed. Yep. Uh, then this is a really good way to keep your health topped up because unlike 
Tana Maggie, you're not having the ticking clock of, on your health going down. Yeah. Um, you know, if you're up against Delirium, uh, this is a lot less efficacious depending on what bosses you fought. I think some of his spawns can generate these hearts. Yes. Uh, but it, it's long. You have to do it for a while in between. Or you have yeah. to wait. You have to do it for a while in between. What the fuck? It, it, you wait a while. Um, th- that but happens. Like, uh, against the, the beast, this is good. Against dogma, this is nothing. Um, yeah, it's, it's, if you're thinking about these, this soul as a way to survive the mega bosses, which is where it kind of puts my mind, mm-hmm. uh, it, it's really, really effective against about half of them. Yeah. As long as you're running a red hearts character. The, the, the tricky thing about this is that it's most effective situation is just for rooms and that's going to help See, you and- rarely. Uh, good in greed mode. Like having this for an oh, entire floor oh. of greed mode is pretty good. I mean, it's yeah. you, you don't you can't die on that you floor basically. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that you're you're right that that is very 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 powerful yeah. there. Uh, otherwise, like getting if you're just going through the floors, this is just like a, a if you use in the right room, it's a good way to get back to full health. Mm-hmm. And that's you know it's it it sucks when you get into the loop in this game where you're down in the womb and you've got like two hearts yeah. out of like t- eight filled. And every time you're getting a heart back, you're taking another hit Yep, and you just can't get, get off get the back edge up that curve. Yeah. So this is great for that. Yep. But, uh, I think this is best saved for a couple of those super bosses. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, it's agreed mode. Agreed mode. It's not, it's not my favorite soul in the game. Uh, it's a little bit of a straight putt in terms of like what it does. It's not that creative. Yeah. Uh, and it's also just like a heavily defensive item, but not even as good as like an Algus rune. I don't think, you yeah. know, like uh, in terms of, you know, cause you're not able to, you're not invincible. You're still able to lose hearts before you can kill enemies and die from this. Like as long and as with Tina Maggie, you might get yourself, you might go running for a half red heart and take a full heart of damage trying to get to it. 100%. A bummer. Yeah. Um, everybody. Thank you for listening. Everybody, let's let's Gary, can we uh round of applause for the listeners for getting through Big this? Big round of applause. Yeah. You didn't you, you didn't clap. I am clapping. It's all right, okay. It's you're not listening. It's it's all over my waveform. <laughs> like, <laughs> Gary, Discord had latency issues. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. It did actually. We both had to wait a little while. And you made an excellent joke. Just throwing that out there. Uh, yeah, I was in the clutches of Professor Latency. Yes, Professor. I'll yes, wait a little professor. while. Um, yeah, very, very now, good. Now, Luke, look at the... It's... Pa- so, professor, I can't understand you. Professor. That's the... So, 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 John? Professor, please. I, I don't understand this puzzle. No, Luke, run. He's... He's 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 lagging out, Luke. You can get away, Luke. You can go. Oh, thank to God. Sc- Luke. You can go to school. I'm going to go. Luke, you can. I'm going to go eat a proper eating a apple. Oh. <laughs> you don't have to rearrange the furniture every day based off of his obsessive compulsive rules. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh come with me, my fact, robot Luke, sister. Pick up that knife, jab it in his neck, get it in his neck now. Stop him. Come on, sister. Professor, I've got it. <laughs> Good. What? You think there's Professor Layton fanfic where Luke kills Professor? Oh, I would be very surprised if not. Uh, I hope so. Yeah, me too, man. Me yeah, too. Uh, it's not a good situation for either of them in a lot of ways. No, though. him or Robot Sister that that <laughs> Professor Layton stole. Oh, you've only played the first one. I not only played the first one. I played the second one too. I just don't remember it. Yeah. Um, oh, we're like, I mean, we're onto like uh, Layton's daughter. Or yeah, yeah. I, there's the iOS ones. If I played a bunch of them, I just don't, I don't finish them because like they get annoying. <laughs> the the um, you know, uh, puzzles get too hard. No. Gary need to jerk off the TV. Mom. <laughs> I love the puzzles. I want them to stop with the plot. <laughs> it's the same problem I have with uh, Phoenix Wright. Like I just, I don't care about these little guys that much. Um, if they were just the the Junior Jumble books, I would have gotten much further in them. Yeah. Um, the clue, the clue books love the clue, clue books. books uh if you like the show there's always patreon if you don't there's like the show patreon. there's always suck my fucking dick and the uh you can also leave us a rating review on apple podcast or podcast addict all right let me check real fast uh let's see i might have read this one before uh because it's from last september this is from the uk mm-hmm. uh and from kayak attack or kayak attack anyway 
It slaps. I've never played Binding of Isaac in my life. This podcast is fantastic. Love it. That's five stars. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Like, what was that delay? Oh, I, <laughs> I'm tired. And I was thinking about other stuff okay. I have to do. We, we've gone over the hour mark and I have a busy day. I'm so, no, I'm so sorry. You Gary. have to be sorry. It's, hey, it's not hey. your fault. It's Kayak Attack's fault in a lot of it's ways for it's such a long review. Yeah. <laughs> the, I kind of have to use the bathroom. There's just a lot of things. Like, Nine words? My- <laughs> Come on, fuck off. <laughs> Gary's got stuff to do. My body was talking to me. My body was talking to me. My body was talking to me. <laughs>